Hello ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Real Russia Reality Video Blog on YouTube again. Let me to remind you that this is a channel where I, my name is Sergey Baklikov, with uh, my friend Sergey Pichukin, who is behind the camera, yeah. showing you all the real life in uh, Russia. In the previous episodes, you have seen my car, it's really very old and unreliable, and I never risk to drive on it in a uh, winter time, in a cold Russian winter time. And uh, when the first snow comes, I, I move, I, I started moving on the public transportation. And in this episode, I'm going to tell you all about the public transportation in Russia, or at least in my city. Let's check it out. And let me to start you with introducing the most popular uh, public transportation in Russia. That's the Russian car provided by the Russian car factory. Because it's the model 322132 and uh, it's so-called shared taxi. Let's get inside of the gazelle and watch how it looks like there. We are inside of the Russian gazelle and you can see 10 seat places here in the back side of the salon and two passenger places here and also the driver's seat. And um, actually it made only for uh, transporting the uh, seat passengers, but uh, many drivers in a race for, for the money also takes the standing passengers and uh, it really sometimes looks like the sardines packed. The payment for driving in a Russian gazelle cost nowadays 20 rubles that's about 16 American cents and no matter how many bus stops you go it costs 20 rubles and the second the most popular public transportation in Russia that's the big buses like these ones that's Nifas Nifas from the Russian car factory Nifas. Let's also get inside of this bus and check it out how it looks like inside. You can see it's way bigger than Gazelle. It's way more comfortable and also here is a lot of seat places. And if in Gazelle you have to pay directly to the driver right in hand, then here works the conductor. And the price, uh, the payment price for the ticket cost uh, 15 rubles here. Okay, uh, now let's take a ride and we'll look how it looks like in, in action. We came to one of the bus stops of our city that to take a ride on a big bus like Nufas and to see how it is to ride on it in action. transportation public transportation in our city that's the trolleybus that works with the electric 
city. You see the horns, two horns on the roof, and there are the wires, the special wires for the trolley bus that getting the energy, the electricity from there, and it goes to its rotor, and that's what makes it to move. And let's take a ride on it. That was another great ride on a trolley bus and now let's take a ride on a tram or I know that in a western world you also call it the streetcar it's also the electric transportation public transportation let's check it out you know That's the Russian tram and Russian tram stop. That's how it looks like. Let's check it out and take a great ride. Finally, we are taking a ride on a Russian tram, and I really enjoy this. I always loved this right from my childhood. It's very romantic. The only bad thing about trams is that they remove the rails from all the central streets in our city. Russian money. Сколько стоит? Надо молодежь снимать. You know, tram is the cheapest public transportation. It's only nine rubles. It's about 30 American cents. It's time to get the hell out of here and I don't know what about you guys but I really enjoy this ride. It was awesome. Awesome. Okay guys, it was another one episode of the Real Russia Reality video blog and today we was taking a ride on the Russian public transportation. I hope you really enjoyed it with us. You have seen the sheer taxi, the big government buses, trolley bus and tram today and it was real great. Uh, thank you all for watching, thanks for your comments, feedbacks, for subscriptions and for likes. Please keep watching us uh, and uh, Keep giving us your ideas. We really love you guys.